All right, all right, y'all. We got a really funny comedian coming to the stage. He makes us laugh, so give it up for the real funny man, Rich Williams. Give it up for Rich Williams. What's up, y'all? How you living? Oh my God, I love the diversity in the house tonight. Give it up for yourselves. It's real. Uh, I tour nationally, and when I do shows in places like uh, Minnesota and Nebraska, it is not as diverse as this. I normally have to play a game called How Long Until I See Another Black Person. Hey, the record is 49 hours. I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico for over two days before I saw another black person. It was awesome, it was at the mall, right? Pull up to the parking lot, I see this brother sitting in his truck bed, he had his feet hanging over the tailgate. I got excited, right? I sped over there and I stuck my head out the window. I was like, what's up, bruh? And he was like, hola, como esta? I'm like, oh shit. It's just a dark-skinned Mexican. But it's all good, he sold me some tamales, so. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to see all the beautiful ladies in the audience because I had to break up with my girl because she was crazy. Any crazy women in the audience, clap if you're crazy. Clap if you're crazy. Look at that. <laughs> all right, I saw this dude clapping for his girl. He's like this. <laughs> we had to pick a medication up on the way over here. He's on. <laughs> Uh, this is how I realized my girl was crazy. I got texted out, all right? Uh, if you don't know what that is, is when you get cussed out by text message, all right? What happened is I came out to do a show when I was supposed to go over her house and smash, all right? When I didn't show up, she assumed I was smashing somebody else. So she sent me 20 messages in a row, nothing but hate. When I got off stage, this is what I saw on my phone. Forget you, bitch. Hope you die. Hope you die and go to hell. Hope you die and then get resuscitated. So you can die again. That was message one. She sent me 19 more messages, y'all. Then she sent me another message, no text in the message, just an attachment, right? Opened up the attachment, it was an audio file. I hit play, it went like this, beep, for 20 seconds. I texted back, I was like, what the hell was that? She texted me back, that's your EKG, nigga, flatline, hope you fucking die. So now I'm on Tinder. I like all kinds of women, man. I like petite women, I like the thick girls. But I've noticed that the pillow talk is different, right? Like when you get with petite women, they ask you certain questions, right? They ask you questions like, does it feel good? Uh, do you want to switch positions? Could you please untie me? You know, shit like that, right? Big girls ask you completely different questions, especially when they're on top, right? Big girls ask you questions like this. <sighs> Can you breathe? Oh God, okay. Can you feel your legs? Okay. Should I untie you? Look at me. Are we gonna eat after this? <laughs> Big one, man. Uh, you can't tell by looking at me, but <laughs> My mom and my stepdad are from Trinidad, my biological father. All right, Caribbean in the house. Biological father's from Sierra Leone, West Africa. And having grown up in a Caribbean African household, uh, I'm here to share an unfortunate fact with you people, and that is some Africans hate black people. Yeah, shit is wild, man. Round of applause, clap if you remember the Baltimore riots. Have you ever heard of the Baltimore riots? Clap if you ever heard of the, okay, a few of y'all, all right. They interviewed this African store owner, right? Now his store was fine. The store next to his burned down, right? So the reporter from CNN asked him a very simple question. He said, what do you plan to do after the riots? This Nigerian cat said, hey God, since my appliances have been damaged by the smoke, I will sell the appliances. And since I own the building, I'll sell the property. And the reporter was confused, like, hold on, you mean you're not gonna stay and help revitalize Baltimore? You're not gonna help rebuild the community? This dude says the most racist shit I've ever heard. He was like, ah, I have lived in this neighborhood for 28 years. I can no longer mingle with those people. You talking about black people, which is fucking bananas, right? This 
conversation doesn't even make sense. Can you imagine if a racist cop pulls him over and be like, hey, nigga, get out the car. Oh, no, 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 officer. <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. You see, you are looking for niggas. <laughs> but I am Nigerian. <laughs> Do you see the difference? Niggas, Nigerian. I no longer mingle with those people. That cop would be like, nigga, get the fuck out the car. I love hip hop music. Clap if you love hip hop music. Clap if you love hip hop. It's real. I love hip hop. Uh, it's very hard to defend it out of context. I still do it, it's just hard, right? Like, uh, here's an example. I pull up to a gas station, I start pumping gas, right? This Asian woman pulls up on the same pump, but on the opposite side. She gotta be in her mid to late 50s. She starts pumping gas. This brother pulls up one pump over, Chrysler 300, music on 10, windows down. We can all hear the song that's playing on his system, right? He hops out the ride, and he looks this woman directly in her face, and he says these lyrics verbatim. My shoe game is my true game. Can't touch this shit. Bitch, you wanna talk about fuck me? Man, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck. All right, you laughing, I'm glad you smiling. This woman was not smiling at all, right? She's looking at me like I was the problem. She's looking at me like, um, is that how black people talk to strangers? That's how black men talk to women. So I had to defend hip hop, right? I said the only thing I could say. I looked back at her and I was like, I no longer mingle with those people. <laughs> he is a nigga. I'm from Virginia. <laughs> Love hip hop. Uh, the beautiful ladies in the audience, y'all might not like this next part, but uh, I don't like female rappers. I said, right. oh. hold on, 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 hold on. <sighs> it's not because I don't think they're good enough. It's because they are too good, right? They gotta survive, right? They're too good. They gotta survive in a male-dominated field, all right? They gotta get me singing lyrics that I have no fucking business singing, all right? Like, y'all remember that song by uh, Megan Thee Stallion, Savage? Got Beyonce on the remix, right? I was sitting in my car. When that song comes on, I close my eyes. I fucking become Beyonce. Right? <laughs> Texas in the stang, gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, you don't feel my pain. <laughs> and then I open my eyes, and my niggas in the car with me, like, nigga, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> You don't get to pick the music. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell from my subject verb agreement, but I am not from the hood. <laughs> All right. Grew up in the suburbs. Um, but it's cool, man. I mean, I don't want to be a thug, right? All right. Uh, for example, here's one reason why I can never be a thug. I have allergies. <laughs> Think about every gangster movie you've ever seen, Carlito's Way, Menace of Society, Boys in the Hood, The Godfather. You've seen thugs laugh, you've seen them cry, you've seen them die. You know what you've never seen a thug do? Sneeze! There you go, that's a thug at right there. She knows up. You ain't never gonna see no thugs sneeze, sneeze right? Let's say I knew some thugs that came up to my house, you're like, hey Rich, we're about to go do some thugging. I can't be like, oh, I can't go outside today. <laughs> Why you can't go outside? The pollen count is way too high. I got, what? This is how you know I could never be a thug, man. My first sport was tennis. That's right. I didn't learn how to play basketball until ninth grade. And when I did, I learned the hard way of playing ball in the suburbs. Way different than a hood. Like, when you play in the suburbs, somebody scores on you, you'd be like this. Swish! Bucket! Right? Nothing but net! Right? I fucked around. I played in Fifth Ward, Houston one summer. Right? That's the ghetto dunked on the first play of the game. And the reason why I'm in that dunk to this day is because of what the dude said as he dunked on me, right? Pretend this mic stand is me. It's almost as black. Now remember, all I ever heard is swish, bucket, nothing but net. This dude came down like this. <laughs> Dick and balls, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck happened to swish, man? 
Had no idea I could be sexually assaulted at high noon for all my people. Worst part, this nigga was Asian. Like, what the fuck, bro? Hey, man, my name is Rich Williams. Appreciate the love. Give it up for your host. This has been a Funny Media Group production.